I am going to be telling you guys a very interesting story time, or at least I think it's interesting. I don't think I've ever even told any of my friends about this one before, so grab some pillows, blankets, grab a snack, get comfortable. It's a good one. 10 out of 10. It's going to be great. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So this story takes place when I was about like 12, I think. And it was me, my little sister, and my neighbor. We're going to call him Juan. So me, my sister, and Juan had never really hung out before. Me and my sister were relatively new to the neighborhood. And we figured here's a kid for us to hang out with, play with. We go to the same school. We kind of knew each other. It was cool. So we were all riding bikes and Juan had some paintballs and we were in the cemetery with these paintballs and Juan goes, we should try to hit cars passing by with these. And I was like, mm, maybe that's not such a good idea, but Juan thought it was a great idea. So we're in this cemetery and cars are passing by and every time a car passes by, Juan throws one hits the car with the paintball, and then we all duck down so that they can't see us, right? These people are just getting huge like splatters of paint on the sides of their cars. It wasn't particularly great. So after we used up all the paintballs, we got on our bikes and we kept running, riding around the town, doing whatever. And we come back to the cemetery and we see one of the cars that was hit and we see the cops. Now immediately, my 12 year old mind freaked out, I was like, I can't get arrested, my mom is gonna kill me, my dad is gonna kill me, if I get arrested, I can't, I can't hold up in jail, I'm not, this is going on my record, like my 12 year old mind is just freaking out, okay, because I'm thinking that I'm about to get arrested for like damaging someone's car, so I got on my bike and I rode away, and I left my sister, and I left one, and I didn't care, I was like, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I I leave and I just pedal as fast as I can. I am gone like the wind, okay? Like just getting on my little bike, just pedaling away. I was like, no, 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 not today. And that was, uh, that was that. And so I of course didn't tell my mom because what kid comes home and says, hey mom, I just ran away from the cops. So I get back to my house and I was kind of like, mm, maybe I should hide from the cops because what if they find me? What if they want to question me? I need to hide. And where can I hide? In my house. So I said, mm, guys, I have a headache and I'm going to go home. So I went into my house, left my sister with Juan to fend for herself with the police. You know? But uh, my sister, a couple minutes later, also came home and she didn't say anything to me. I didn't say anything to her. I just assumed everything kind of blew over and it was like, whatever. Well, I was wrong. Later that night, there's a knock at our door and me and my sister, we both immediately knew what it was and we were like, oh crap. And I look at her and she looks at me. But my sister was leaving out a big part of the story for me. So I'm over here thinking the cops are here to question us and we're going to jail and I'm all kinds of freaked out. So my 12 year old mind is just freaking out. I'm like, I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail, I'm going to jail. <laughs> so my mom opens up the door and it's Juan's mom. And she goes, hi, I just wanted to make sure the kids were okay after everything and I wanted to let you know that they're not in any kind of trouble. And my mom's like, what are you talking about? So Juan's mom proceeds to tell my mom, all about how you're playing with paintballs, the car got hit with a paintball, and the cops were called. Juan's mom tells my mom how Juan owned up to it, said it was all his fault, you know, and everything was taken care of, and she wanted to let my mom know that we weren't in trouble with the cops, and that we weren't going to jail. And my sister knew all of this because I left my sister out there with them. So my sister was there when everything like happened, she just never told me. So while I was sitting there thinking that the cops were hunting me down, trying to find me, and were gonna take me away to jail because I was an accomplice in this scheme, when that none of that was like really happening, my uh, my sister knew the whole time that 
we weren't going to jail. And uh, I played it off cool. I was like, okay. I could have done jail time. But on the inside, I was going, like, the love. Because my ass was not about to go to jail. So, yeah, guys, that's it. That's my story about the time I ran from the cops. And, uh, yeah. So, make sure to give this video a like. Leave a comment. Let me know that you liked it. Let me know if you want more stories like this. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!